Hey everyone, what's going on? Joey here, and today we're finally gonna reveal the last person in the entire series. We did a reveal video for everyone, except for one person, and that's the cotton candy. So right now, we're gonna go through all the clues and the pitch correct audio to figure out who is under the mask of the cotton candy. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe, you turn the notifications, and you give this video a thumbs up. Let's get started. So if you're anything like me, you've been writing down every single clue or typing it in my case for the cotton candy and you're like gosh darn who is it who is it gonna be well right now we're gonna go through all the clues and the audio we're gonna match up the pitch correct and I'm gonna tell you who's under the mask that's right now the way we'll do it is first we'll go ahead and lay out all of the clues we'll then play the pitch correct audio I'll tell you who I think it is I'll go ahead and compare the pitch correct audio to an interview clip of this person speaking. And then from there, I'll answer all of the clues to go ahead and confirm that it is my guess. So let's go ahead and start off with week two. Remember, the way that they did it was week one, week two, she was in group two. So we didn't get to see her until group two or week two. And then we saw her again back to back. So starting off with week two, she says, I'm definitely a perfectionist, but things haven't always been so sweet. Growing up, I was a kind of all around whiz kid. I had big plans, but in order to chase my dreams, I had to move in with a new family. I was just a kid and got homesick and I had trouble keeping up, but she's a fighter and her new family gave her a safe haven to call home. Now the visual clues we had was English style breakfast, a wizard hat and a wand, a chalkboard drawing clock that had a lot of letters behind them. It was like one, two, three, four, E, F, seven, eight, I, 10, 11, L, a box of cereal. We saw cupcakes with lips and eyelashes on it. And I think that's pretty much it. Besides that, we had the word up clue, which was prime time. After that, we saw her for week three, once again, back to back. I don't know why they did it that way, but she said she's used to getting set back in her career. I grew up in a place where life was carefree and simple for everyone but her. It was so hard to balance practice and everything else in her life. She even missed her high school prom. It made me want to scream sometimes, she said. But after all these years, I'm truly grateful for all those sacrifices. There were a lot of visual clues. We saw ice, lipstick, a hawk with an American flag, a peace sign or like a number two, Roman numerals that spelled out 12, and her word up clue was Team Palaya. After that was week five. She's still talking about her fall when she says, after my fall, I wasn't sure if I could keep on dancing, let alone make it this far. The judges said, I think you're showing you have a winner's attitude and that you're gonna be here for the long haul. She said some haters in the past said that she could not dance, but I'm about to do a crazy fun swing performance that's going to change their minds. Visual clues included practice, 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 a sign with many rings on it, and then her super clue were five balloons. After that was one more week of clues. It was week six. She said after each rehearsal, this is actually her partner talking, she goes for a three mile run in her mask just so she can get used to it. That's kind of crazy though with today's COVID, it's actually not that bad. <laughs> he says that's dedication and that he was scared for her after the fall and that anyone else would have hit rock bottom, but she vaulted back to her feet like a hero and now she's on fire. Visual clues included Miss Perfection Sash that was red, white, and blue and a superhero holding up, looks like chocolate. And then her word up clue was prayer. So those are all of the important clues. There were some more other ones, but most of them were just kind of her talking about her falling and I mean, her profession, she does fall. But anyway, who do you think it is? Let me know in the comments section. Let's go through the pitch correct audio. For those who don't know, every single week we bring you pitch correct audio from the clue packages. Every single week those packages themselves aren't the real celebrities talking, that's right. Fox takes the original audio, they speed it up and they pitch it up. That way you have no idea who it is. Now, I'm an executive audio producer here in New York City, and so I figured I could slow it down and pitch correct it. That way we can hear the real celebrity voice. Now, with that method, I mean, we've gotten everyone right on here so far for this season and for the four seasons of The Masked Singer. Fifth is on its way, by the way. And so this method works. Oh, we got one wrong. Yes, I know, I know, one, the eagle. I know, I can't, I just want to say all of it because it's out of five seasons. Only one? 
Come on, it's a 99%. Yeah, come on. Anyway, this is the original audio that they give. This is a little part of it. Here you go. Wow, super sick. I'm no stranger to competition, but this has been different. Now we slow it down and pitch correct it, and now we have this audio. Wow, super sick. I'm no stranger to competition, but this has been different. After my fall, I wasn't sure if I could even keep on dancing, let alone make it this far. Some haters in the past said that I can't dance. Well, I'm about to do a crazy fun swing performance that will change their minds. So now it sounds like a regular human, right? Anyway, now I'm taking that audio and I brought it to my top three guesses and I'm like, okay, let's play these interview clips and compare it to the voice we have. And finally, I got ba -da -ba -da -dum, Gabby Douglas. That's right. Hey, Gabby, welcome to the Mask Dancer. Woo! I know it's not like being on the Olympic stage and getting a gold, but hey, it's a heck of a lot of fun. And now you're probably saying to yourself, Joey, it can't be her. Well, let's go ahead and compare a interview clip of the audio I have to Gabby talking. Here you go. Wow, super sick. I'm no stranger to competition, but this has been different. I just think life just throws you rocks and it's just like, how are you gonna deal with the situation? And that sounds like her to me. So let's go ahead and answer some of those clues, okay? Starting off with week two, I cut out some of the like nonsense stuff. That way we can actually have the real stuff in here. So she talked about growing up and having to move away into a new family. Well, as a teenager, she moved across the country to live with her gymnastic coach's family so that they can practice more and more every single day because where she currently was living, I believe it was Virginia, there wasn't really that good of a program for gymnastics. The English style breakfast refers to her first time going to the Olympics in London in 2012. The lips and the uh, I mean, eyelashes and that stuff will come up later, but the lips relate to her having a gloss line. Yes, she has a beauty line with, I believe it was like beauty bakery which is where later on you get the eyelashes and the cupcakes. We saw a clock that had one, two, three, four, E, F, seven, uh, I, uh, e, 10, 11, L. I'm bad with letters and numbers, dyslexia. Well, that spelled out life and it was on a clock that was telling time. So life and time, lifetime, lifetime channel made a movie about her book and about her life, it was a biopic. So there's your lifetime clue right there. Wizard Hat, well, she was on the Nickelodeon show, Ricky, Nikki, Dicky, and Dawn. And she was on their Wizard of Oz episode. After that, we saw a cereal box. Well, she was on the Coin Flake cereal box after she won gold at the Olympics. The next clues are from episode three. The important one is her talking about missing milestones and not being able to go to prom. Well, in an interview with Nine Year Time, she talked about missing many of her childhood events. She says, I wanted to be in school and go to the prom and all that. But my mom taught me about perseverance, reminding me that not everyone gets to compete for the USA or had the potential to do something amazing. It paid off with red carpets and meeting celebrities. So she didn't go to prom and missed out on a lot of things in high school. We saw a hawk with the American flag while she was on Team USA. We saw ice. She does ice baths after her workouts because it helps her recover. Word of clue was team player. Well, all of her major team awards, like especially in 2016, she won them with a team and they were called two different names. The Fierce Five and the Final Five. Then we saw the lipstick and the eyelashes on the cupcakes. She was, once again, she works with Beauty Bakery. And Bakery, get it, because cupcakes and then all the stuff on there. After that was week five. Not too many clues that stood out. Practice, practice, practice. Well, we know she's a perfectionist. She talked about it. We'll talk about that in a quote a little bit later. We saw the sign with rings on it. Well, if you actually look at the sign, they're actually formed in the same way of the Olympic logo. Now we're down to the last week of clues. We saw that sash that was red, white, and blue that said Miss Perfection. Well, in an interview with Success Magazine, she says, this isn't just about losing in competitions. Even when I do my very best, there's still something I feel I could have done better. I am such a perfectionist. Everything for me has to be perfect and very precise. So, I mean, let me tell you, that really nailed together that this is Gabby. There are some master list clues we can kind of cross off, including the Olympic medals. Well, all together as a whole, we're supposed to have four. Well, we do know we did a reveal video 
for the zebra Oscar de la Hoy, and he has one, which means we need three left, and it just so happens that Gabby has three. So there's your four right there. Then we're missing one more book for the New York Times bestseller, where she had her own autobiography, and that made up the New York Times bestsellers young adult list. So there you guys go. Those are all the clues, the pitch correct audio. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know in the comment section. And remember, hashtag crab for season five. That's all I could say for you guys. Anyway, thank you for joining me if you haven't done so yet. Please subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. And I really mean please subscribe. We're trying to build up this channel as much as we can, especially because with the mask Singer coming up around the corner, uh, I have to do a video about that very soon, just because there's so much, so many things going on right now, especially with... Um, the new host and what she's doing. She's hilarious, by the way. Anyway, thank you again for joining me. I'm Joey. I'll talk to you later. Bye.